Now we agree that basic color correction is fixing first of all your exposure. You want to bring the highlights of your video towards the highlight zone and you want to bring the shadows within your video towards the shadow zone down there. Now I showed you how to use the gain and the lift and of course the gamma. There is an easier method in Resolve 15 is to pick one point that is pure white and one point that is pure black and then the exposure will be adjusted according to these two points. Let's first try an example. I will go for the gain. You have this plus sign here. It says pick white point. So you want to pick a pure white point, not any white point. Point that has the most white within your frame. So you click on it, you select it, and you come to your video. Now there are many white points here. The sleeves, the neck over here, and maybe the other sleeve, and so on. And also you have white points just over here. The way I'll do it, I'll pick the white point from the main subject. I will not go to this area that is not important for the video or the context of the video. I will pick something from my main subject and decide exactly what could be 100% white. Let's say we pick the neck here and decide this is now 100% white. Let's go back to the picker and go back to the point and you notice now the color has changed. It's now red 254, 254, and 254. So actually, it's really white 100%. You can see it just over here. Let's go for the black. If you select the black, you want to select what is supposed to be pure black, 100% black, 000 for RGB. If you look at your image here, of course, you can select this dot. That's not interesting. This is not on the subject. Select something that is important within your frame. For example, there is a shadow here. That's pretty interesting, by the way, because it's supposed to be 100% black. And if you look at the colors now, red is 75, green is 102, 109. So it's going to be quite some correction. But I will select this shadow here. Now, this shadow has become 100% black. And notice I have almost a very good color correction. Maybe too dark because the way I picked this point. You can reduce it if you like. You can lift a bit the shadows. Okay, I'm looking at this area. This is not very important. Later on, I will grade it. And I'm cool with it. I can also reduce the gain if I find out I have too much white. Here you are. You're done. So using the pick white point and pick black point is a very fast way to adjust the exposure. From time to time, you would want to readjust again using the wheels over here. What I will do, I'm going to reset and give you a counter example. I will go for the gain. Now, what is white here? Sleeves, maybe they're not supposed to be white. So I'm going to go for something very white, this patch on the wall here, which you notice is not in my main subject. It's not in my main frame. It's just on the side here. If I pick this one, notice now it, this area has become quite good with the white. Now, I will go for black and decide, okay, this point here is supposed to be the black one. I will pick this one. It actually didn't work at all because I picked from somewhere that is not really good and is not about my subject. But you notice in this area, well, I got the very nice colors, but the guy here now is bluish. You have a blue cast. So actually, it did not work. Let's reset and go back to choose from our guy. I will go for this leaf, for example. Not bad. I will go now for the shadow. Maybe I can choose this point here, but I'm sure they're not pure black. So the shadow here is the one I could find. If I go for the glasses, the glasses are not pure black, guys. You know that very well. There is shadows. There is something like this. There is the glare of the light. So this point is still the best. It's too strong. So we'll take down the highlights. Okay, just over here. And then we take up the shadows. Here you are. Well, that's pretty good. So actually, you notice that uh, these two points, picking them randomly does not work. You have to be a bit precise on how to pick them Focus on your subject if this is what you want. Of course, from time to time, you want to focus, for example, on the horizon or stories like this. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was very useful and I will see you in the next lecture.